Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this patriotic fan brush design. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. You can use whichever is your personal favorite. All the polishes that I'm using today are from OPI. The red is Magenta Muse, and the blue is Indigo Motif. You may recognize those from the Color Paints collection. And then for my base color white, I'm going to be using Alpine Snow. I've got a plastic lid here that I'll be putting my polish out. I've got my fan brush. And then off to the side, I have my usual little dish of acetone, as well as a cup of water. And we're going to be using the water on the actual fan brush. When you get it wet, you can then kind of spike it out so that instead of just a smooth edge, you get these little clumped together jagged edges. I'm going to be doing all of the red first. And I think last time I did this, I was working in a little uh, like drops or drips and I found it a little bit easier to create kind of a slightly longer spot to dip my fan brush in. Once your fan brush is nicely spread out, actually I'm going to go ahead and load it this direction because of the way I'm going to be putting it on my nail. So go ahead and get some on your fan brush and then I'm going to try and draw across in just one swoop like that. And I've still got some polish on here so I'm also going to do my next finger like that. I want just a little bit more on that. I told myself I was only going to do one per nail but that one needed a little bit more. Now you could go ahead and get more polish on the fan brush right away but I think one of my problems the last time I did this was this polish is already starting to dry and get a little bit tacky and it just doesn't react the same as when the brush is clean. So I'm going to clean off the brush with polish remover, wipe it on my napkin to get rid of any of the excess acetone, and then in my cup of water, get it wet again and uh, spike out the edges again. And I'm trying to get them, I mean obviously it's not going to be the same, but similar spikes to the first time so that we get similar patterns on the next nail or two. And I'm going to do all the red on all my nails, then I'll be coming back to do all the blue. probably noticed that my fan brush was getting like dirtier and dirtier as I went along and that's because when you're cleaning that much polish off the acetone tends to get dirtier and dirtier so I definitely would re recommend like starting over with some fresh acetone before you start your actual cleanup 
and you can also use that to clean off your fan brush before you put it away. Finally, I'm going to finish off with top coat, and as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. I don't like it quite as well as my test of this design, but the good news is I think I've identified why. I'm pretty sure that when I was testing, I didn't spike the fan brush quite as aggressively, and I was able to get a little bit thinner lines. But even though I realized that kind of halfway through this manicure, once I started with the thicker lines, I didn't want to like switch halfway through and this is actually the last thing that I tested yesterday after a bunch of striped drag marbles that I wasn't fully happy with I'm gonna give you a glimpse at my uh, swatching notebook here these are the drag marbles and they're not they're not horrible they're just not quite what I was looking for and here is the uh, fan brush test and you can see that the lines are just quite a bit thinner and that's just going to be determined by like I said how much you spike out your fan brush if you'd like to see that testing stream that'll be uploaded tomorrow if you'd like to join me for a testing stream follow me over on twitch I hope you guys all enjoyed and as always thanks for watching